Now, please, return what's mine. Oh, do you think I cast a spell on her? Our tax doll is hard at work, I see. Enjoy that. Now she's cavorting with dwarves? When did that happen? I would never suggest a young woman to kiss a man who held her captive. <laughs> kind of message is that? Oh! Oh! I do hope you like apples. I will not listen to childcare lectures from a man who put his daughter in a box and shipped her to Maine. Oh, I made a lasagna. What's the secret ingredient? Poison? Red pepper flakes. Gives you some kick. Doctor? Doctor. Need I remind you you got your PhD from a curse? Hey! Is everything okay here? Private conversation. Go take yourself for a walk. Emma and Henry and the two idiots. If I were you, I'd try the fish special. It's right up your alley. Black and soul. Threatening her isn't the way to motivate her. Well, I'm all out of fish food. Belay the bitch. How may I resume killing her? No! You'll win her over with your rainbow kisses and unicorn stickers? Because preteen Balfire probably made lots of pasta. Am I supposed to be impressed that he made a nightlight? So what, you want to send him a message? Because I haven't seen a Neverland post office. Move aside. Why? So I can rip his heart out. It'll do exactly what we want. You want to follow the evil munchkin's dirt road? Be my guest. What is this? Amateur hour. You went to a long dead octopus for advice, and you're going to blame me for your problems? Now you can have legs whenever you want. Orphan. Whatever Eric's into these days. Why is she pregnant and I'm the one who's sick? I don't run from monsters. They run from me. The bookworm's right. It's quite real. I don't care if the Lollipop Guild is protecting her. Show yourself, you winged freak. <laughs> well, right now, I have better things to do than to gossip about boys. And you're sure Cora never said anything about her? I think I would remember if my mother told me she had a love trial with the scarecrow. Didn't anyone tell you? Black is my color. A number of spells involving baby parts would surprise you. This is all useless crap. To be fair, the first time I was threatening you, everyone else just became collateral damage. Remind me again why we forgave her? Because I'm helping. What? We're at the edge of the dark forest, trying to find the one person who can stop our imminent doom and save your unborn child. And you two stopped to smell the roses? Snowbells. I don't care if they're dancing daffodils. Well, she's awfully vanilla. Can you blame me? Whose idea was that? Oh, I thought I would put my own personal touch on the office. Well, you've succeeded. Hideously. Regina, I was hoping we could talk. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I'm about to storm an evil ice cream truck. Oh, what now? Should we question the cow she gets her milk from? Maybe search the waffle cone factory. We're not talking about an old pair of Jimmy Choo's here. We don't have a couple hours. Have you guys not been watching the clock? It'll be sundown before you munchkins finish. Dwarf, sister. Like I care. I should know better than to trust blondes by now. Time for a hope speech? Virtues of blind faith? Well, it seems Elsa's blind faith is exactly what's screwing us right now. Coming from you, that's just terrifying. I was just reading up on how to turn you into a garden topiary. I suppose we should go out and see what's killing property values this time. Regina, who is it? The sea bitch. Mostly wondering how a plate of undercooked calamari ended up with the Dark One's cell phone. We've learned our lessons. Let me be clear, ladies. If you bring up my former sins around my son again, you'll find yourselves across that town line faster than you can say costume jewelry. Those two might be tactless morons, but they could have magic their way out of a paper bag. Should have known fish sticks and pound puppy were here for more than a second chance. Are you still a bad girl, Regina? said we needed to meet covertly. Now I see you brought the entire charming softball team and their pirate mascot. Please. I was torturing people back when you were still playing with puppies. See how she likes being made into outerwear. Regina! What? It's Emma's heart we're trying to protect, not mine. Not like she rode off on a unicorn, she got sucked up by a vortex of evil. Maybe you like having a hook. Maybe you'd like another. Enough! I should be figuring out how to free Merlin, not fox trotting my way across Club 
Medieval. I get antsy when I don't know who I should hate. Well, if it's dating tips you need, lad, I know my way around women. Over your dead body. Regina! I don't believe this. We're getting Merlin's voice out. Tell your timbers to stop shivering, pirate. Why should I help you, Regina? You burned me alive. It was Hansel and Gretel. At your best, and with your fireball. Fine, fine, but you stole my apple. What do you think happens when you steal from a witch? Witch? Sorry, love. I'm glad your reflexes are better than your sense of style. You've been spying on me, how? Next time, tell your boyfriend to pick you up in something with a little less chrome. What are you doing? We need a plan. I have one. I still have a fist. Gold still has a nose. I'm fine. <laughs> Better than fine. It's... Did I mention I'm fine? Well, bring it, Queenie. She banished me here. Well, I guess that makes us a club. I didn't take a one-way trip for you to pick me apart. Thank you. Seriously? No. You're so old. Damn it! Oh. Uh, the hearts of my enemies, but... Town line protection spell, check. I freed that dragon from the mirror world, check. Got Dr. Doolittle out of that cage. Don't ask. Finally! Would you please do something about her? I told you it's important. 